Hi everyone, my name is Lisa and I'm a first year student planning on concentrating in computer science. Today, I'll be walking out through a pretty realistic day in my life as a CS student. Let's get started. On Wednesday mornings, I have my first year writing class called XBOSS. All first years have to take the course, but they're all about pretty different topics. For example, I know some people taking it on friendship and some on 1984. Mine is on Wastelands and it's held in the Center for Government and International Studies, a super cool building that has a bunch of exhibits inside of it all the time. The walk there is pretty far from my dorm, but it's a really great way to wake up to a morning Cambridge breeze. After class, I take some time to grab lunch with my classmate. Most of the first year students eat at Berg, right inside Memorial Hall where we have some lectures, but there's even some spaces in the basement to grab food on the go called Flyby. Today, I'm just indulging in some classic chicken tenders and reading up on some stuff on my phone. I have them around an hour after lunchtime, so I just go to the Science Center, a central hub on campus for some classrooms, good food, first year mail, Cabot, and some rooms that are a part of the math and statistics departments. Usually I like studying in one of the first floor cubicles, but they're all full today, so I'm just in the basement reviewing my economics lecture at 3.5 times speed. This is a really good place to study just because it's so close to Annenberg, so we can just go there right after we're done eating to look at some stuff. Now I'm making my way to my second and last class of the day, CS124, or Data Structures and Algorithms. The class is in the Science and Engineering Complex, which is in, on our awesome campus, so we have to take a pretty short 15-minute Harvard shuttle ride there. One twenty four is arguably my most difficult class, but it's super fun to work on proofs for algorithms. After class, I take some time to just check answers for the piece set that's due today, work on some personal projects, and play some games. I honestly didn't take as much personal time as I wanted to last semester, so I'm making an effort to take more breaks now. Plus, playing Pokemon at the SEC is just one of the coolest things ever. After around another 15 minute bus ride back home to the SEC, featuring the absolutely beautiful Charles River, I go to the library closest to my door, call Lamont, to work on some coding problems and internship deliverables. I rendezvous back to my dorm and have a small snack to a YouTube video since I'm not too hungry. I take some time to contemplate whether I actually want to do a biology secondary, play some more video games, and clean my room. I take a pretty short nap afterwards. At 8, I have a club meeting with Oscar, or the Harvard College Association for U.S.-China Relations, where I'm a junior director helping to plan the China Thinks Big conference. For some reason, Harvard clubs are always a bunch of acronyms, so like it's a lot to get used to, but it's a lot easier to say that rather than that whole mouthful. The meeting ended pretty early today since it's only the start of the semester, so there isn't that much stuff to do. So now I'm headed to the chemistry building with my roommate to meet with some of our friends. Hello. Never doing quant kids. Purely do pure science. Don't sell out to those big corporate people. They're mean and evil. You know what you should always do? You should study astro. Astro is the way of life. Astro, you become the conquerors and kings and queens of the entire universe. <laughs> Okay, and on next episode, we're going to talk about why everyone should do software engineering. <laughs> After that short fiasco, we're finally able to enter Hoffman. It's actually my first time in the chemistry building since I usually go to the math lounge in the science center or Jefferson, the physics and sciences building. Unfortunately, at Hoffman, they don't have chalkboards. They just have a bunch of whiteboards. But it's okay because we're mostly working on our own stuff with small breaks here and there while I confuse a bunch of life sciences majors with a, some statistics puzzles I found in a book. I'm focusing on my readings for my gen ed class on human trafficking right now and honestly it's just a lot of studying really intensely for 10 minutes and then going back and talking about some really random things such as Ford commercials. We finally braved the code to go back to our dorm at around midnight. By the time I'm back, I'm pretty much mostly done with my work for today, so I just finished responding to some emails and start relaxing with some more YouTube videos and games. My desk setup at nighttime with lights is super pretty. Honestly, it turned out super great since I didn't really plan anything before coming in and I kind of just added things on, so I'm really happy with how this looks. Thank you, 
guys so much for joining me in my video. Um, hope that gave a better understanding of what a day in the life for it might be. Um, it is a little bit boring, um, lots of studying, so um, honestly not exactly sure what else there is to do. Um, tonight I'm just going to be responding to some more emails um, scheduled 10 tomorrow morning so that people don't think I'm insane and uh, probably some playing some more video games. Tomorrow I have a section at 10.30. I plan on preserving these flowers, sending some mail, and I'm going to some club events and hopefully hang out with some more friends. So it'll be really fun. Alright, bye bye guys. Hope to see you again on future videos.